it's time for a full tour of my newly organized craft room. Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you'll be notified when I post new videos. And don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up. As always, the link to everything I mentioned will be down below in the YouTube description. Let's get started with my craft room tour. I have been in this room for a little bit more than a year with the new renovation and storage and furniture. And I needed to kind of rethink about my flow and how I was storing stuff. Plus, I needed to purge out some things that I haven't used over the past year and put them into storage. Today's video, you're gonna see some of the organization that I've shown in my previous videos, but you're also gonna see some new things for example, my wall behind me here. We're gonna go through everything. I'm gonna do quick tours of everything in the room. I'm not gonna go in depth like I did with my organizational videos, but you're gonna get the full grand tour of my craft. So we're gonna start the tour right here at my Alex drawers. This is the nine drawer unit from Ikea, and it fits perfectly into the alcove here at the top of my stairs. On the very top of it, I have my typeset typewriter, and in the top drawer is where I keep all of my extra adhesives. The second drawer is where I keep all of my hot glue and liquid adhesives, my um, hot glue sticks, my hot glue guns, and my liquid adhesives. The next drawer is all thread and cording. I have a drawer that's just for ribbon. This is just ribbon that I use for card making. This drawer right here has all of my travel bags, my iPad case, my laptop case. The next drawer is my ink supplies for my printer as well as my label maker and label maker supplies. I have a drawer for office supplies, markers, tape, stapler. Another drawer for just post-its and clips. And then my very last drawer are all my notebooks. This section right here is my built-in bookcase. This second shelf fit three of the Stampin' Storage containers or uh, ink storage containers perfectly. So this is just my Distress Oxide inks. On the very top shelf I have three tins over here. These are the Tim Holtz tins that have the uh, mini Distress inks. On the very top, I have a lid to another Distress ink or another tin that has all of my little blending brushes in here. On the side here, I have two acrylic containers that have my blending tools in it. The ones in this side go coordinate or inked up and labeled for some of my Distress Oxide inks and the ones on this side are new ones that I just purchased that I found a great deal for on Amazon. This unit right back here is another acrylic container that holds my Distress ink refills. And then like I said down here are more ink storage that has my Distress Oxide inks in it. On the bottom shelf is where I keep all of my cardstock. They're all in the job ticket holders that you cut off the tab on the top and then I label and just keep them stored right in here. The very first section is my um, colored cardstock and then I have more of my neutrals here. I have specialty cardstock like mirror cardstock from Tonic and other specialty um, cardstocks from them as well. In this middle section, I have miscellaneous stuff. I have like things like transparencies, uh, sticky back, canvas and other various types of material. In this next one I have all of my supplies for doing my cardstock. I have all of my job tickets that I already cut off the top and they're all ready to go for when I get new cardstock. This one right here is a box of laminate. It's a thicker style laminate. It's what I use to do my dividers in my stamp and uh, die cut storage. And then I have a package back here of a thinner laminate. This very last container is my 80 pound cardstock. I use these white containers from Ikea to store all of my cardstock and papers because it's it has a nice depth to it and it will hold the job tickets nicely. And they just sit on their side right here on the shelf. Next to my cardstock storage is where I have a bin of finished cards. I have a fridge bin of paper tray and cardstock that is cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half. That's all ready to go whenever I need it. And then I also have my six by six paper beds back in this corner here. Around the corner from my bookcase is my Organize More ink storage. I have Lawn Fawn, Simon Says Stamp, and Hero Arts in this section. And then I also have some miscellaneous inks on the side. Underneath my ink pad storage is a three-tiered table. On the very top, it's kind of my charging station for my laptop and uh, the second shelf is my storage for my Cricut Maker, and then next to that are my bullet journal supplies. So I have two finished bullet journals plus some extra covers. Underneath my Cricut Maker is my Cameo, and then next to that is a tin that has my wires for both these two machines. And then in the very bottom underneath my table, I have my more inexpensive cardstock for 
creating my packaging for my stamps and die storage as well as just some inexpensive colored cardstock as well. And then next to that is my backup supply of my 110 pound cardstock. This is my work island, my desk, my craft table, whatever you want to call it. It's actually made up as well as the rest of my craft room of kitchen cabinetry. I went to a local builder and picked out a uh, set of cabinets that uh, I like the best and what was great was it had the option to get a desk drawer. The desk drawer is um, the longest drawer I can get so that I can make my desk as long as possible. The countertop is a quartz countertop and then the cabinetry is by a company called Hillcrest and it's painted in a color called Willow. I'm going to go over what I keep in my desktop. I have my Gemini Junior die cutting machine here. Next to that I have a napkin holder from the dollar store and that makes great storage for your die cutting plates. I keep that right next to my machine. Next to that I have two bowls. The bowls I just use for throwing scraps in and then I also have my ring of my ink swatches here. Next to that is my heat gun and then I also have my little salt cellar for my lawn fawn chamois. And then on my desktop is where I have my Tim Holtz glass mat. In the top drawer of my desk is where I keep a lot of my most used and most often supplies. So this drawer has my inks that I reach for the most when I'm making cards. Underneath the drawer that has my inks, I have an over the door holder that has a paper trimmer as well as some extra plates for my Gemini Junior. And then inside my cabinet, I have my Epson printer on the top shelf back there. And below that are my other two other paper trimmers as well as my sticker maker. In the middle section of my desk, I have a stool. And in the top drawer of my desk, I have all of my stamping supplies. My Misty, my acrylic blocks, my score buddy, they all stay right in here and they're easy access. This drawer isn't very deep, so it's perfect for that kind of storage. On the right hand side of my desk, I have the top drawer. In this drawer, I keep things like my adhesives, baby wipes, scissors, things that I reach for the most. The second drawer is my tool drawer. I have everything from my stapler to tweezers to extra inks and stamp cleaners. All of that sits right in here. I use two makeup containers um, that are sectioned off to sort some of this stuff. Plus I have a boon organizer back here that I have tilted so that I can easily access the stuff in the drawer. In the bottom drawer of my desk is where I keep my Copic markers. I have two storage containers that keep my markers standing um, upright. Plus I have plenty of room if I wanted to get more Copics, I could, or I can move the rest of my alcohol ink markers in here as well. One of the biggest changes I made in my craft room is taking out the pegboard that was a that I was using at the backsplash on my counters. We took it out because of our outlets. I could not put the pegboard as a framed, so we had enough room to hook baskets in. I was only able to keep baskets up towards the top and away from the outlets because the outlets pushed, obviously pushed ever, the pegboard up against the wall. So we ended up taking that out and I put in a uh, removable wallpaper. And I'm gonna give you now a full tour of my countertops. So this area right here is more of my office area. This is the corner of my countertops. On the wall, I have one of the Ribba, shel Ribba shelvings that you can get at Ikea. I have this in storage from my previous craft room when my craft room was in the spare bedroom. And then I have a picture of Scott, Ethan, and I there. Below that is a little mail sorter and in here I keep my remote control for my TV, um, a couple notebooks and some notes for my videos. In this corner I brought back my computer. This computer was actually down in my husband's office for the longest time because I didn't think I had a spot up here but I actually love having the computer here. I can stand and work and edit videos if I want to or I can even drag my stool over and edit from here as well. So this is back and I'm loving that it's here. Moving down, I have a little sentiment board or a little quote board and I've had this for many years and what I do with this is actually used to hide my outlets. I have a surge outlet for my computer and then my lamp is plugged in back there but that makes a nice little hiding place for my outlets. Moving a little further down, I have my Big Shot and on the wall is another one of the ribbon shelving from Ikea. And here I just have some of my favorite colors displayed in my crystal drops. And then I pulled out my Pink Fresh Studio inks to keep on display there. And then I also have a card that I recently made. In the next section, I always keep a candle on display or sometimes I, it's lit. This is my last one of my favorite rose quartz candles. So I have to keep an eye out for TJ Maxx or Home Goods. I also have a little flower pot decoration that I picked up at Michael's last year 
And then right below that, I have my cutting mat that I used to use in all of my videos, but now I just use my, my glass cutting. But I keep this here so if I'm working on projects, I have additional cutting space. Right here is a little spinner that I have that I got from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And in here I keep things like my, my sequins, my more of my crystal drops, and then I also have some shimmer powders in here as well. If you haven't tried these, these are a lot of fun. Up above that, I have another rib shelving. I have the rest of my Pink Fresh Studio collection and some more crystal drops here. And then the very last section is I have this wooden um, clipboard stand here that I've had for many years and in there on there is just a picture of my husband and son and I. This is a fruit basket that I picked up at Sam's Club many years ago and recently I was at Sam's Club and they have another version of this but what I like about this is that you could just pick it up and take those baskets with you to your desk if you want to. Right now I have my stencils stored in here because if you watched my last video I realized I never found a place to store those. So right now they're just laying in the top and then in the bottom here are just some newer things or things that I want to play with that I pulled out when I was doing my sorting. Behind there is a paper towel roll because you can never be without paper toweling in your craft room. I have a little fan that I recently picked up so that when I'm not running my air conditioner because of videos I can have this little fan going. And on the wall here is my letter C for Christina. This is my smaller cabinet, one of the smallest cabinets in my room. And in here is where I keep all of my cutting mats for my Cricut and my Silhouette. And then down on the bottom, I have my craft mats as well as my larger scoring board. Next to my smaller cabinet is a four drawer section. I have two smaller drawers and two larger drawers. The top two smaller drawers are for the top section. I actually have a piece of cardstock in here for when I'm using my embossing powder. I have my tray with all my embossing powders as well as the supplies, and then I have my Cricut supplies over here in acrylic containers with a divider so I can kind of keep those two areas separated. But I like to keep a piece of cardstock in here so that when I'm doing embossing powder, I could just pull this out with the embossing powder because I always forget. In here is more of my expanded cardstock storage. This used to be in the bottom drawer of my desk, but I did go ahead and move it into this cabinet, which is right behind me when I'm sitting. I have everything sorted like my 80 pound cardstock, my envelopes, my Bristol cardstock, my card bases, um, already pre-cut 110 pound cardstock, craft, vanilla. And what I did was I just used one of those drawer or sorters to kind of segregate this area. I have um, a little tray here, one of those acrylic bins that I can do even yet another cardstock in the middle. And then towards the back, I have some more of my neutral colors that I use often. In the bottom two drawers, I have my mink storage. This is where I keep my two mink machines and all of my foiling supplies are in here as well. And then the bottom drawer is where I actually have all of my tools, my, my, not my used, most used tools, but tools that I want to keep in my craft room that I might use in the future. This next section is a three drawer section. I have a larger size drawer and then two really deep drawers here. This top drawer is where I keep my felt as well as metallic thread and uh, my flocking paper. The next drawer is my stamp and die storage, which you've seen this in a previous video, so I'm not gonna go over great detail about this. And then the same thing in the bottom drawer is another section for stamps and die storage. I have another four drawer section here, two smaller drawers, two larger drawers on the bottom. This top drawer is my pencil storage, as well as my watercoloring and other supplies for uh, like Gamasol, and then I also keep some of my color charts in here as well. In this drawer, I have things for watercoloring. I have my watercoloring books, a package of watercolors, my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers, gelatos, paintbrushes, and the Arteza Real Brush Markers as well. In the next drawer, which is a little bit deeper than the other two, I have things like my Distress Oxide sprays, my alcohol inks, my embellishment mousse, and some other things like glitter and Upo paper. And then in the very bottom drawer is a little mix of everything. I have my alcohol ink markers from Nouveau back here. In the front, I have my Tombow Real Brush markers, my embellishment caddy with my sequins in it, and in the very back are just some miscellaneous supplies. This is my cabinet, my corner cabinet, that's right below my computer. Um, probably looks different than the last time you saw it when in my previous video because I did add stuff to this like some more cups and supplies for the spinet. I'm planning on doing some Christmas presents with these, so that's why I picked up that. This is an acrylic tray that, in my previous video, just had my cutting plates for my Big Shot in it. 
but I put one of those shelf dividers that I use in most of my cabinetry and then next to that is where I put all of my little gift baggy things and clear bags for cards and so on and then back there is a tray that had my tags in it they used to be in a previous drawer but now they have them stored in here and then along the side here I have the resin for my spinet and then I have a tin that has all of my acrylic paints and stuff inside of it then down below on the second shelf I have my sewing machine my box of thread my cleaning supplies these two containers right here are filled with either uh, iron on vinyl or my transfer tape for uh, vinyl and then in that metal container right there is where I actually keep some of my um, electronics and wires that I used to keep on the other side of my room. The very last part of my craft room is going to be this corner unit or the end unit. On the top shelf is where I ended up moving my punch board. So I have all of my punch boards plus my light board here. And then on the very bottom, I decided to go ahead and keep my vinyl. Originally my plan was to get rid of the vinyl and put it into storage, but I ended up keeping my vinyl here along with the roll of transfer tape. And now here's a full view of my craft room. So I hope you enjoyed the full tour of my craft room and all of the organizational videos in the series and found some inspiration to organize your craft supplies. On the screen you're going to find two videos. The top video is a playlist of all the videos in this organizational series and the bottom video is one that YouTube recommends and thinks you might enjoy. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you next time.